welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making these cute Valentine's Day lunchbox notes with the perforation blade. But most importantly, we'll be learning how to use flatten in order to print and cut. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Okay, you guys, let's start by uploading the image. So we're going to go to upload and you see I already have the French version here, but we're going to upload the English version. So you click on upload image and you browse till you get to the place where you saved it previously from my library. And my SVG files are always with an SVG at the end. So this is the one we want. Let's open it and save. And then you click on it and you insert image. So here you have it. The first thing you need to do with all of my files is always to ungroup. It will be one single big group and in order to work with it, you need to ungroup it. And then you'll see that there are two other different groups. So there's one for each uh, art and I'm going to click on the eye of this one so we can work on the, the second one here and not get mixed up. So this group, I'm going to ungroup two, and you'll see you'll have, again, two smaller groups for each of the sides of the heart. Um, the first thing you need to do, because we want to print and cut, so you don't want to have, you don't want Cricut Design Space to cut the heart and cut all the little letters, and then you'll need to glue the letters there. I'm sure that's not what you want. So... In order to, to print and cut, we need to tell Cricut Design Space to flatten. We need to tell to flatten the letters onto this shape. But first, before flattening anything, you need to change the color. Because now, if you flatten this, it's going to print with the pink ink. Unless that's what you want, you don't change the color. But if it's, if it's not what you want, You'll need to change it to white. So I'm going to select only the heart. I'm going to change it to white because I'm I'm going to use some uh, pink cardstock. So it will be already pink, but I just need to tell my printer to print only the black letters. And same thing for the red heart. I'm going to select only the red heart and I'm going to turn it to white. So let me just separate them. I just uh, put them like that together so you know that it, they both go together but you don't you know, they're not really made for that so now you'll find out that when you click on the uh, on the the writing you can put print right here but that's not sufficient that's not sufficient to tell Cricut Design Space that you want the letters printed on the heart when you put print, you see that the way they will appear when you're going to print them. They're not going to be so bold like that. They're going to be more like this. So that's the one way to know. But you really don't need to do that step. I'll show it to you right after. So I'm going to select um, both of them. And since it's only those two things that are in your group, I can go ahead and just flatten them like that. And you see that's what happens. If uh, you have more than one thing in the layer, like this one, that's the, the little line I want to cut. But that those are the lines, the, the dash line I want to uh, perforate. Sorry about that. Perforate. <laughs> okay, so let's do perf. <laughs> I don't know why they called it like that. Okay. So I'm going to change it to basic perf and I don't want to flatten all of those. I want to keep these two. So I'm going to need to ungroup. I'm just going to show you if I don't ungroup what happens. So let's say I want to select this one and select this one and just flatten them. Well, everything is like cut and print. So they're going to print the little dash line. That's not what we want. Let's just undo it. So we need to ungroup before let's see here ungroup and then select the text and you don't you don't need to put it at print let me show you you just select the text and then select the art 
and don't select the, the two lines. So holding the shift key, you select the heart, select the text and go to flatten. So it's the same thing as the other one. Now, if you want to see the, the lines that are still there, it's just they are, they are in the back right now. So I'm going to move them to front because I like to see them. <laughs> I like to know where I'm going. So here you go. And now in order to tell Cricut Design Space that you want those little lines, this cut line and this perf line to go on the heart, you need to attach everything. So I'm selecting this one, this layer, holding the shift key. Sorry, I'm mistaking. I'm not taking the right key right now. So let's do it again. Holding the shift key, this one, this one, this one, and th nope, not this one. <laughs> Just the three first ones, and I'm gonna attach them. So now they are attached, and this one is flattened too. And you're gonna hit make it and see what's going on. So here you go. Now you don't see um, the border of the heart, and that's totally normal because the heart is white and the paper is white. Cricut Design Space is always thinking that you're gonna be printing on white paper. So it's not showing you. If you would have left the heart pink, you would see the border right there. But I want to print on colored cardstock. And let me tell you that only the maker does that pretty well. The Express, Express Air uh, machine has little trouble um, print and cut on uh, paper that are uh, a darker color. So you may try it but you might have some difficulty. So you might want to go and print the, the ink, the pink ink on your paper. Let me just cancel this. I'm going to show something else to you. So let's open the other heart. I just want to show you, I'm going to ungroup it and just take that away just a little bit. I want to show you that if you want to write something of your own up on there, you don't need to take my funny little jokes. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. So let's close the eye or just delete it if you don't like it. And I'm going to take the text and I'm going to write something. You could like on this one, write, do you know what? And then when they open it, it says, I love you or let's let's do this. I love you. I'll, we'll keep that very simple. I. Can I just, okay, cut lock. I love you. So now I'm like to change the font of that. So I'm gonna go right here. And instead of Cricut, let's try to find a better font for that. Let's just try to like this one. This is cute. Okay, so now Oh, sorry. Let's just try to put in there, put it there. And you need you need it to fit there. You can uh, reduce the line spacing if you want. I feel I always find that Cricut really spaces the, the letters out. And you want to make sure it goes inside of the, the dash line because when they tear it off, you want it to be seen everywhere. So it's going to be almost there. And because I'm a perfectionist, I'm going to center it. <laughs> so let's just center horizontally. I have selected both the heart and the letters and center horizontally. And then I'm going to flatten everything. So you see, I flattened it, but it's still pink. So now I can't change the color. You see, you can't really change the color. And when I'm going to hit make it, you're going to see the little heart that is pink because it's on white paper and now you see it with the word I love you but you see I didn't do anything for the other one so I have all those mats one with the heart one with the dash so that's not what we want for the second one but I just wanted to show you the first one since I want to print and cut those two on pink paper I'm gonna turn off those two layers and I'm gonna hit make it so you see now you have both of them uh, on one sheet of paper and Cricut Design Space already know you want to print and cut so when you continue it's going to ask you to send it to a printer so you go send it to printer and you select the printer you want and you hit print 
Okay, so once it's printed, you're gonna stick it to the mat. You can use the blue mat or the green mat. Since my cardstock was a bit thick, I used a green mat, but that's fine. And you follow the instruction of Cricut Design Space. And once it's cut, you see, you can see the, the heart. It's, it, it's there, like I promised. <laughs> and uh, you continue on to the other uh, two hearts. Once you get to the other two hearts, you're gonna open the layers and hide the other ones. And when you hit make it, you'll see, um, you still don't see the contour of the art, but that's okay, they will be there. And the order of what of a design space is print, basic perforation, and then cut. So when you hit continue, it's gonna start by send it to printer. You do the same as you did as before. And then you follow the instruction. It's gonna set, tell you to change the blade to the perforation blade and then change the blade to the cut blade. That's the only part of Design Space that is really easy to follow. It's straight to the point and they tell you exactly what to do. So it's pretty easy. I hope you enjoyed this video. So give it a thumbs up if you did. Tell me in the comments whose lunchbox are you gonna put this little love note in. So have a great day, everyone.